Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another inks comparison video and this is my favourite red inks comparison number one. So I think with that let's go and swap up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of Tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here on this inks comparison on my favourite red inks is Diamine Wild Strawberry. And uh, this is a, a very nice uh, red ink that has quite a bit of sheen properties to it as well. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you'll see here that it is actually a bright red uh, colored ink. And it's almost bordering on a reddish orange or an orangish red I'd say we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a uh, wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is diamine and it's wild strawberry which is for me a very nice red ink a very nice red ink the next ink here is diamine poppy red and uh, again this is a really nice red that i like a lot uh, i do find though that in some on some paper some notebooks this will feather depending on the nib if it's a wet nib so we'll do an ink swatch here and you can see initially it looks very similar to that of Diamond Wild Strawberry. The way I always tell the two apart is Diamond Wild Strawberry ends up being a little bit more of a pastel, chalky uh, coloured red. We'll do a second pass over the top half. Uh, and this is just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is Diamine. 
and it is poppy red but that again for me is is another bright red that i typically go for i i typically do prefer more brighter reds and darker reds but there are some darker reds that i do like a lot the next one here is diamine and this is the blue ink vent edition and this is ho 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 and yes it is a christmassy uh ink again another bright red ink uh you can see a theme here on why uh i like these bright red inks so we'll do an ink swatch here now i would say that this is maybe a little bit darker or maybe a little bit more in between the two of diamond world strawberry I, I think it's a little bit more of an orangish red we'll do a second pass over the top half just show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is diamine and it is simply ho 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 uh, but you'll see once that dries why i like that color if you're into bright reds then uh you can see why this will be my fav one of my favorite red inks the next favorite that i have here is pilot washizuku mamiji and uh, this one is another uh bottle of ink that will sheen quite a bit uh certainly on papers typically like tomoe river um anything uh like sometimes even rhodia as well i've seen it sheen on so we'll do an ink swatch now, this is more of a sort of, I'd say a pinkish red. Um, it, it's an interesting red for sure. Uh, we'll do a second pass over the top half. Just show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. Uh, one thing I will say, though, about Pilot Roshizuku inks is that they are very, very well lubricated. Now, I think you can probably see that, how wet that went on. Uh, it just is a very, very lubricated ink. And uh, I do like this ink quite a bit. I don't write with it as much maybe as I should do. Um, and I think I will probably have to change that. So this is Pilot Oroshizuku. And it's Mamiji. But hopefully you will get to see some sheen on that ink there. Because typically it will sheen on Tomoe River paper. Of course, now that I've said that, it's not going to sheen. The next ink here is a Mont Blanc ink. And it is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Now, unfortunately, this ink has now gone end of life. Maybe Mont Blanc will bring it back at some point. But uh, for the time being, it is end of life. Uh, if you've got a bottle, uh, keep hold of it. If you get the chance of picking up a bottle um, then do pick it up if if you like red inks because I think this is a beautiful ink uh, and it, it's one that I I do use a lot actually uh, but you'll see that it's not necessarily as bright as the other reds so we'll do an ink swatch here so you can see there initially it's not that bad it's it's it certainly is darker than the other reds, but it's also got a little bit of an orange tinge to it. So it does actually look quite bright. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. But what you will find, this it's not an iron gull ink, but it has similar properties to an iron gull ink that it will dry a little bit more on the darker side uh than wet so this is mont blanc and it's corn poppy red and it, it really depends on the pen that you put it in uh, if you put it in a, an extra fine or a fine pen nib pen you're going to find it writes quite light if you put it in a more of a broader wetter writing pen you're going to see that it dries a lot more darker and then the last ink here is a, a 
Akamon Dutch Masters Inc. And this is Charlocken Van Jan Steen. And I have to say, um, again, that this is one that I like. So we'll do an ink swatch. But as you can see here, they're starting to get a little bit more on the darker side. And I'm not normally a fan of really dark red inks, but this is just another one that does speak to me. So we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a board or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And I want to say already I can actually start seeing some sheen appearing here. Certainly as the ink is drying on that lower half, it's looking as though it may actually sheen. Um, I used to use this ink religiously uh, for, I want to say, probably two years. Uh, I've got a 120 milliliter bottle of that ink, um, and I just not used it a lot recently. Um, but I'm going to have to change that again. Uh, it's just I've got so many red inks that it is just, uh, it, it becomes a little bit of a chore, like with the amount of pens that I have, to try and use all of them uh, so use all of the inks or use all of the pens so this is uh, Akamon and it's Dutch Masters and uh, it is uh, Charlucken and it's Van Janstein but for me Again, this is has been a red ink that has been one of my fa favourite inks, and I do do like it. But as you can see there, though, it is starting to get a little bit more darker. Okay, I think let's now take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamond World Strawberry, and hopefully you can see why I like this. It's quite an orangish red colour that uh, this has become one of my favourite reds. Uh, you can definitely see the difference between a wet uh, or a dry writing nib here. And I'll show you this up close so you can see it. Is there any shading? There is a little bit in the pulled area, not a huge amount. You don't see a huge amount here on the writing sample either. Now, do you see sheen? Now, I have to say in this one, it's difficult to see, but there's a little bit more uh, trying to sheen here on the lighter area. Now, typically, this is an ink that I find will sheen. Uh, it's not sheening for me today, which is an interesting one, because typically, I would normally see uh, quite a bit of sheen from this ink. Uh, so this is sometimes how it can vary. If that ink was left out to uh, the water to evaporate out of the ink and make it a little bit more viscous, a little bit more thicker, then you probably definitely see more sheen there. Uh, the next ink here is Diamine Poppy Red, which again is another bright red. And I do typically like bright reds as my favourite red inks. Can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You can see a little bit of a difference. There's definitely a difference in colour there. Uh, not as much as maybe Diamine Wild Strawberry. I'll show you this up close as well. Uh, is there any shading going on? I would really say not a lot. There's also not a lot here in the writing sample. Is there any sheen going on? Again, I would say, well, actually, there is a little bit. I am seeing a little bit around the edge here, but it's so small that it's probably it's probably not worth talking about. I'm not seeing any, any other sheen there, really, from that ink. Um, if, if out of the two inks, I would say that I will get sheen normally from Diamine Wild Strawberry. The next ink here is Diamine Ho Ho Ho, which is a uh, Ink Vent Blue Edition ink, uh, which was the first Ink Vent edition that Diamine did around the pandemic. Um, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? Uh, yeah, you can. There is a difference in color there. Um, is there any shading going on? Yeah, definitely here in that pooled area you're seeing a lot. Is there any sheen? Again, it's trying to sheen around the edges here of that pooled area. You might see a little bit there. It's trying to sheen. I'd say it's not really 
really able to sheen but it's another one of these bright red inks that i i do like a lot now the next ink here is pilot washizuku mamiji and this really is a sheen machine now it is a red ink but it then dry it goes on very red a beautiful red but it then dries a little bit more on the pinker side of red uh, so it's not like one of these reds where it's a more brighter red, lighter red. It's a little bit more of a pinkish red once dried. Uh, can you see the difference between the uh, wet and dry area? You can. It's certainly lighter here in the drier area. Uh, is there shading going on? There's definitely shading in the pooled area. And is there sheen? Well, honestly, I think that is definitely sheen and you can even see it here in the writing sample as well so if you want a red sheening ink uh, then that is uh, a, a red ink that you could go for although bear in mind it's a little bit more on the pink side of things if you don't mind a pink ink and you want a sheening ink then the other one I would go for would be Pilot Washizuku uh, Satsuji and that is uh, more of a hot pink, more so than this, and uh, that will also sheen gold as well. So uh, if you want a sheening ink, then maybe go for that. If you don't mind going into the pink side a little bit more than maybe this has. The next thing here is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, and I did say that it will go on quite light, but it will dry a little bit more of a darker red. Uh, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? There, there definitely is some difference there, but it's not as much as some of the other inks. You can definitely see in the writing sample, though, it is very dark. So if you write in an extra fine or a fine nib, it's going to be lighter. If you write in a broader or wetter nib, it's going to be more darker there. Is there any shading going on? I, I'd say no. Uh, not really much in the pooled area and certainly not in the writing sample. Is there any sheen going on? Uh, I want to say a little bit of sheen around here. Very, very minuscule. It's trying to sheen, uh, but it's struggling to do so. So it, this wouldn't be a sheening ink that I would uh, go for if I wanted a red sheening ink. And then the next ink here is uh, Ackerman Dutch Masters Charlucken Van Jan Steen. Uh, this is uh, a has been a favorite red of mine as well and typically I will put these in different pens like I will put this in a maybe a Visconti or some Visconti this I will put in a Visconti speakeasy or a Visconti St. Basil because they're wet writers but the Ackermann Dutch Masters Sherlock and Van Janstein probably put it in a maybe a Visconti Homo Sapiens more uh, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib yes you definitely can I'll show you up close there. Can you see any shading? There is some shading going on in the pooled area, so definitely. You can also see some shading here on the writing sample. Is there any sheen? Uh, I would say no, it's not. Um, it Again, it's not one of these inks that, that will sheen a lot. Uh, so if you're after a red sheening ink, Honestly, I would go if you if you want a bright red ink, I would go for Diamond World Strawberry. If you want, if you don't mind a pinkish red, when it once it's dried, I would say Pilot Washizuku Mamiji because that is a sheen monster or sheen machine. So there you have it. That's my favourite red inks comparison number one video. If there are any of these inks that you like, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other red inks you'd like me to check out that then do let me know in the comments below so that's my favorite red inks comparison number one video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye